I feel awful for Florida State. I bet you in prime time, Deion Sanders was that coach they wouldn't have gotten left out. You're not going to have a college football playoff without Nick Saban, the godfather. I think it's a little disrespectful for the game of football. Are you angry that Alabama is in the college football playoff? Okay, that's cool. I get it. But that outrage was for the earliest days of the summer. And maybe big picture debates further down the road. But the here and now reality is that the Crimson Tide has rolled into this year's finishing four. And the harsh reality of that, well, reality is that history tells us that if you were one of the other three teams, the ones who arrived carrying far less baggage and amid far fewer boots, the literal elephant in the room isn't just about whether or not Big Al should be here. It's what he might do to everyone now that he is. Am I right, Michigan? I am told that the numbers tell us that this is the worst Alabama team in a decade and a half. I am terrible at math, so I'm not going to use a beautiful mind to try to explain that. But I do know ugly when I see it. And in September, Bama was more unseemly than that time Florida's uniforms tried to look like actual alligators. This is not the talented Alabama teams we've seen in the past. Week two, Bama was pushed around at home by Texas. Week three, a sloppy showing against South Florida after Jalen Milrow was benched because Nick Saban believed that his sophomore QB needed an attitude adjustment. Entering October, the talk in Tuscaloosa was that the GOAT's greatest days were behind him. The dream of his record-extending eighth national title seemed as likely as Saban going back to coach at his alma mater, Kent State. Is the quote-unquote dynasty dead? The season just doesn't have a very bright outlook. But Alabama hasn't lost since that embarrassing outing against the Horns. They beat Ole Miss, Tennessee, and LSU, who were all ranked while Milrow ran and threw his way from the bench to Heisman ballots. Kicked in the turbo, Milrow, touchdown Bama! Let's go! And think about this. If Bama manages to win out, to somehow win its 14th AP or Coaches National Championship, then look at what they will have done to get there. Iron Bowl, fourth and 31, the grave digger. Then, Defeat the number one team in the nation in the SEC championship game. Up next, defeat the new number one team and doing it by winning the Rose Bowl. And then, perhaps, winning the Natty in a revenge rematch against the only team who has defeated them this season. So, yes. You can be mad about Bama in the college football playoff all you want. If you live in Tallahassee, you should be. But if the Tide can turn all of that crimson and they do it in four straight games, then the time for debating their CFP worthiness will have long passed. And it might be time to start thinking about renaming the CFP trophy the Saban. <laughs>